Let's check in our sap buckets. Oh, it's full. Oh yeah. Let's see here. Look at that. Oh yeah, all the way up to the hole. Okay, we're gonna harvest our sap now. Bring it back to the house. Just like I explained before, it should be very simple. We get our cap, cap out, pop this off the hook. Try not to lose too much. Cap on. Put the lid on. I'm gonna carry these out two at a time. Alrighty then, we're bringing the set back to the house. So this year, I'm gonna try a different technique. Instead of sitting there in the backyard outside boiling the sap for hours upon hours, I'm gonna try a technique I've been reading a little bit about. I read an article in Mother Earth News on how to do this. It's called the ice concentration method. And you use a freezer. And if you start to freeze a bucket of this sap, um, the water freezes before the sugar. So as long as you keep on scooping the ice out off the top, what you'll be left with is a highly concentrated sugar, sugar rather, solution, and then you just do the final boiling at the end to turn it into syrup. So we're gonna try that, partially to do something new and uh, partially because I've been banned from doing this in the house. And I don't wanna spend a whole night, you know, all night long outside trying to boil this down. Several years ago, I did this in the house and I knew I shouldn't have done it in the house anyway, but everyone was asleep, I stayed up all night, did it. And I had the windows open and the, the range was on and I kid you not, sap was dripping off the walls, down the walls. And you could have licked the wall and ate some pancakes. It was that crazy. And uh, I had to spend a whole day cleaning the walls. So I've been banned from doing this in the house. So we're gonna try this my new way. So wish us luck, here we go. So after about one day, 24 hours, of uh, the sap running. We've checked our buckets, we brought them back here, dumped them out, and this is what we've got. We've got about 18 gallons of sap from our maple trees. And I'm gonna start to process this instead of having it uh, sit here and go bad. So what I'm gonna do is to save time and energy because I've got work and stuff going on, I'm going to put this into a few smaller buckets and instead of boiling the sap down, I'm going to use the ice concentration method to get rid of most of the water and then I'm just gonna boil this at the end and we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna make some room in the freezer and find some smaller buckets and uh, we're gonna get going on this. So I'm gonna pour some of the sap off into these smaller buckets to go in the freezer before they go bad, before the sap goes bad. And I'm not gonna totally fill them because I don't wanna spill it all over the house and. Ice expands, water expands when it freezes, right? So, I'm gonna fill it, I don't know, three quarter. Clear a spot in the freezer. Let's see. Fit should be like just, just right. A little on the tight side, but it'll work. So I have no idea how long it's gonna take these to start to freeze. I'm gonna have to keep on checking them. Check them constantly. See what's going on. Oh, barely fit. By the way, these are um, these are cream cheese. One of these is from cream cheese and one of these is from icing. They're from the ba a bakery department of a supermarket. In case anybody's trying to find these. All right, now we wait. So here's what's going on. It took, uh, Four hours to freeze this initially in the freezer, and that since then every two hours I've been taking this out and scooping the ice out. And at first it was kind of you know it was a pain it made your hands freeze, but I've kind of figured out a technique here. So I just poked the ice out of the middle, and then if this is going to work hopefully. I can scoop big sections out. They just come right out like this. Look at that. It's all. Hopefully it's not going to break on me. Just let that drain for a second. Here's lift all that out. It's the top and all the sides, and it's no ice on the bottom. You just dump it in the sink. Let me just scoop out the rest here. So, I've been doing this every two hours or so, and I've got the three buckets down to one bucket, and we're just going to keep on going 
and let's taste them. Oh yeah, the sugar's definitely going up, so it's working. And so far, I mean, for the amount of work, it's by far superior to sitting with this on a, on a fire, boiling the sap down. I don't have the end product yet, so I can't tell for sure, but so far I'm loving this. Oh man, it's getting tough now. Here's where we're at, everybody. It's been about three days. We've used the freezer to get all the extra water out of our sap, and we began with several big buckets full. We had uh, 18 gallons of sap from the tree, and I've scooped the ice out, scooped the ice out, scooped the ice out for several days, and uh, we're down to about two gallons. And as you do this process, you'll know it's working because, number one, you'll see the sap gets darker. It looks almost clear, uh, slightly yellowish in the beginning depending on the tree and now it's like this amber color and it's gotten a lot darker and more concentrated and also the taste if you taste it you look at fingers it's got a lot more sugar content in it, and it's starting to taste like maple sap a little bit so this is about as far as we can take it with the freezer using the, um, the ice concentration method here we're gonna finish this off on our grill out behind the house so let's stick it on the grill here and uh, we'll finish this off and bottle it for you and I forgot to mention this before, but a few times I fell asleep and forgot to uh, skim the ice off and the whole bucket's froze in the freezer overnight. And if that happens, it's totally okay. So when it freezes, the water freezes first, then the sugar freezes last. If it freezes, take it out, put it in the kitchen counter or put it in the sink or whatever. Let it thaw out. The sugar thaws out first, so it's the opposite. So let it thaw out until there's just a little bit of ice in the top and then you take the ice out and, and continue on as before. Got to cover this just until it gets heated up and then we'll take the cover off, let the water evaporate out. Okay, let's check out how we're doing here. Whoa, all right. We are down to about, about a little over a gallon. So we've gone from two gallons down to a gallon. You can see the beautiful color of that. That smells great. It smells like maple syrup now. It's still too thin. It's still not the right consistency. It's not like totally amber colored yet, but we're getting there. Smells awesome. Check it out. It's almost ready when it starts to bubble up like that. Gotta turn the heat down. Gotta be very, very careful. It's very easy to burn it. It's very easy to burn right now. I'm about to bring it inside like two or three more minutes I'll bring it in. Okay, here we go in the bottle. Be very careful. cap on fast. And I wish I had a whole batch to go all the way up to about there, but this will do. And I love using these Snapple bottles because they've got that push top and as this cools, that button will push back down you know you have a good seal and you can store it without refrigeration. So now the S is not for Snapple, it's for syrup. Hope you guys enjoy this. And we're going to use the process of uh, the heck is it called? Maple, maple, maplelicious. <laughs> maple, maple, maplelicious. The little brown specks you're seeing floating around are ants, the little brown ants. <laughs> and it's part of the process that happens there after the sugar water too. Maple, maple, maplelicious. <laughs> 